Select a style. Now pick a tone. Let's see those eyes. Make the cut. How about brows? Last thing, leg wear. You happy with this? Yes, I am. But more importantly, the little buddy. It's little buddy's turn. He's adorable. Let's give him some hair. And let's go. Think you're fresh? Start splatting and we'll see. Before you hit the crater, we'll hit you with the basics. Aim for the little small fry. Two with the controller. Using motion controls, we can also reset the camera with Y or move uh, the camera with the right stick. We can also move with left, which we can do as we would normally in most games. Now we can press C L to go into squid form, which means that we can submerge ourselves in ink to go faster. Looks like your little buddy found something. Let's see what it is. It's a splatter shot. Press the R to blast those balloons with ink. Tilt the controller to aim your reticle at the balloons, I guess. I don't know. So we can aim at them and shoot them. Of course, we can paint the ink around ourselves using our weapon. We also have an ink meter with that refills slowly. And it has a little marker on it to show us how much of it we need to be able to use our sub weapon with R, which is a bomb. Sub weapons will change obviously depending on what, what weapon you use, but it's pretty good for now. We can also jump in squid form as well, and squid form can also go through grates, so we need to keep that in mind. Also want to make sure we don't have enemy ink in our way, so let's paint over that. We take damage in enemy ink over time. There's also, if we find a wall, actually, there's not really any walls over here to find. Hang on, there might be one up ahead. Quite possibly. But anyway, let's use a sub weapon to blow up all those crates. If we paint this wall, though, if we hold B while on the wall, we can actually build up a jump to make ourselves jump higher so we can get up to the top quickly. And also, if we turn uh, 90 degrees, I think it is, and jump in squid form, we can do a little, little dash, which could be helpful in a pinch if you need to suddenly move. And here we are, in Splatsville. In Splatoon 3. So let's get some news quickly. Listen up, it's going down. Repping the Splatlands, we are deep cut. Anarchy Spl- uh, it's gone already. <laughs> here we go. Your lip sync, you we trip ink. Shiver Fry and Big Man. Breaking news, hot of the press. Oh, you've got something, Big Man. Let's hear it. Ah, this is what my story to break. The Great Zapfish is gone. It basically powers the whole city. We need it back soon, or it's lights out. Time to conserve. Turn off lights and set the temp to a to a cool 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 32 degrees Celsius, and it is not cool. Call us if you find the zapfish. And that's it for now. Ooh, spicy. From Splatsville, that's a wrap. Catch you later. Welcome to Splatsville. This is the place to see. And be seen. The hottest spot on the map. If you want to make this, make it in this town, you gotta be your freshest. And how do you show off your extremely fresh self? Online battles. Just hit up the lobby. 
Seriously, if you start making waves in battles, everyone around you will let- and will know your name. Wait, what? You're new here, and I don't mean to alarm you, but that dude is seriously scoping you from the sewer. Whatever, it's fishy, but we'll be- we'll get to that later. So where were- where are we? Alright, battles. Time to sink into the ink. If you want to get right into it, check out the lobby, or follow that weirdo down the sewer. Up to you. Go get him. Full splat ahead. As a quick note, if you've played Splatoon 2 on your Switch profile, you'll get a gold ticket which you can spend in the weapons shop to get a weapon that is not available to you unless you are leveled up enough. So if you want to have your favorite weapon right off the bat in the lobby, you can do that. The, the, the Oc, 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 the Octarians are coming! Again! Oh, ah, uh, hi. Did we do this once before? The old Noggin ain't what it used to be. Anyhow, the name's Captain Cuttlefish, senior advisor to the new Squid Peak Splatoon at your service. Not captain anymore. Just senior advisor. That look in your eye. It's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Splatsville has been squidnapped. It's the Octarians again. You can bet your bottom and sand dollar on it. See, the great zapfish has gone missing before, twice in fact. And those Octo Jerks were behind it both times. I've been keeping an eye on them, even though I'm technically retired. And with eyes like these, there ain't much that escapes me. But they still made off with the Great Zapfish, and now we've got to get it back, right? So, uh... That was a job offer, kid. The pay is... zero. But you might save- just save the world. You're in, right? Right? Of Course you are! Staring- starting today, you are Agent 3 of the new Squid Beaks Platoon. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Octarians. Huh, is there such a thing as something growing in the wash? It's a little baggy on you. Funny, I don't remember ever wearing it. Bah, the last Agent 3 was clean as a catfish. Now, let's go get those Octo Clowns. I'm counting on you, Buck- Oh! You've already got another Agent with you there, huh? Well, I'm fresh out of hero suits, unfortunately. Ah, but it's... A salty little scamp, ain't it? It'll do fine. Now, where was I? Alright, let's go get those Octo Jerks. I'm counting on you, bucko. And so here we are at the crater. I love this place. But of course, since the last Splatfest of Splatoon 2 was chaos, this mode is a little bit more chaotic. Alright, let's look for a way to the Octa into the Octarian base and keep your eyes open for nuggets. I guess so. Also, in the story mode, our sub weapon is our little buddy. Who we can throw to create a distraction. Or if we throw it at a box or something, he'll actually try to take it out. So you can actually fight enemies with him. Which is really cool, but you also have to wait for him to be returned to you before you can throw him again. Now I think if we go back here. No. I'm thinking about something else. Anyway, if we look at the chair over here though, also there's a zap mini mini zap fish plush in back there. But there's also an, uh, a letter on this chair to look at, so let's investigate that. Take a gander at that. It's a portrait of the new Squid Beak Splatoon's captain. Not a bad likeness, eh? The captain was Agent 3 before you were Agent 3. Agent 3, nothing... Uh, complicated about it. You... you look like... you, you know the cap about the captain, right? Of course. I knew it, the captain's real ce a real celebrity. You know I used to be captain, right? Ah, never mind that. How's the likeness looking? Not quite right. No? Well, that's not good. How'd the captain look into your eye? So we can set the captain's look in this. 
which is basically setting up the old, um, the old Agent 3, who we played as in the first game and we saw in the second game, we have to actually set their appearance in this game. Gotcha, gotcha. Anything else? Think you're onto something here. Got any more details for me? I just think it's cool that we can do this. Voila, how are we looking? We're good. I knew you, the look in your eye would help me settle the... the look in my eye when it comes to this. Thanks, kiddo. I just think it's important to note this straight away because you might miss it and then you can't do anything about it later on. The coolest thing about the hero suit, it'll heal itself if you let just let it. You eating well these days? Don't go into battle hungry, you hear? Why do you like to eat these days, kiddo food? Are still kids eating food? You can't spell win without in, and you can't spell ink without I can't s they didn't read the rest of it. But anyway, unlike the first two Splashing Games story modes, we actually start with the best gear available to us, so we actually have a really good weapon to start out. So, we have this, um, goop stuff here, this hairy goop, and if we touch it... We just die, kind of. We grow hair. Agent 3, you still with me? You gotta be more careful than that. Okay. Mind the fuzzy ooze, that's all over the place. Touch that stuff and who knows what will happen. Alright, I know what will happen. Floof, instant full body beard. Whether you like it or want it or not. There's also a viewing platform here. Okay, now that is one big pile of fuzzy ooze. That big old bubble on top is probably the fuzzball. I bet if you could pop that, the whole thing would poof, boof, disappear. But I doubt your ink will do the trick. Now let's worry about that later. For now, keep looking for a way to, into the Octarian space. Uh, but anyway, if we go into ink or squid form over here, we can actually take a look at this. If this is the whole place of, uh, this whole, could use a shave. Can't read that fast apparently, and I'm just losing the ability to read. But we can look around like this, which is cool. We can also see the first level over there. So let's take a look at that. Also, I just want to show you can actually destroy that with the, the little buddy. There, the kettle order, take us right to him. Shoot the lid with CR to blow it open. No hidden areas any like no hidden entrances entrances anymore. Level one. Octarians in the ink crater. Yikes. In, in the crater, yeah. Anyway. We also have to hold ZL to actually enter a level. Instead of just doing it in immediately, so there's a bit of time to back out if you want to. Just a little bit. But anyway. Here we go, the real deal, Agent 3. Just want to paint as much as possible. We actually have a special that builds up over time. Look around, you can see something. You want ink? Just pre press CR and fire away. We also have like a little indicator when you can actually destroy something as well, which is cool. Just for like, it just shows up for a second. It might be to help you with aiming, little buddy or something like that, but anyway. If you get discombobulated, press C, uh, press Y to reset the camera. There's launch pad, hop in, hop in, buckle up. Blow up these balloons. Just like that. We want to get as many fish eggs as possible starting off, so let's do that. Remembering that the ink can kind of, uh, kind of spread if we jump into it, or have it just fall down from where you shoot it, since it kind of goes down with time. Looks like a splat split switch. Go ahead and splat it and see what happens. Just have to cover it with ink and then it activates. Let's try and hit all these balloons. Looking far away, crate and dreaming. Maybe some off I can help you. Go, little buddy, go. I think it's just fish eggs, though, which is good because we need that. It's the main reason we're here right now. Wow, that crate never stood a chance. Let's try it the other side. Just trying to splat. <laughs> trying to just splat just so. Aim carefully with the cursor in the middle of the screen. Get some armor there. Means that we can last a little bit longer. You can kind of see a visual change to the character. Whenever you get some more armor. I think we only have a few sets of armor though. We should go down at a time. You also have a, a default armor. That should go. Or should regenerate if you lose it. But if you do get hit, well, yeah, if you, if it breaks when you have no armor left, then you just die, basically. But you have, you have a little bit of extra leeway with the extra armor. You have red particles around you, I believe, when you're about to die, so you need to be careful. 
until it goes away. But here's an Octotrooper. Get ready to splat it with ZR, Agent 3. It's also got hair for some reason. Real quick, before you can engage the enemy. Uh, <laughs> hide behind walls. There's no shame in it. True. But there we go. Little Buddy did a good job of that. If there are multiple enemies, though, Little Buddy's going to have a little bit more trouble. But let's throw Little Buddy into the Zapfish, and let's go get it. Moi. Give it a little kiss on the forehead. Well done, Agent 3. You remind me of a young cuttlefish, heroically saving the day. Anyway, good news you, is you, you got a zapfish. They're a source of energy on their own. But the better news is that the great zapfish may be up ahead. And for completing a level, we also get some more fish eggs. Which is good, because that's what we need. Alright, I plum forgot about this fuzzy ooze. And that blasted fuzzball is just wobbling back and forth, taunting us. Is that your small fry buddy chir chirping or so about something? You know, that species is rumored to have a big reaction to power eggs. Anything's worth a shot, right? Try pressing R, the right stick down, to power up your little buddy and with some power eggs. Well, that did something. Try throwing it at the fuzzball. And that gets rid of that section of ooze. Look at that, it gobbled the, up the ooze like it was nothing. That little monster has quite an appetite. Anyway, it cleared a part, the path for you, go on. Also, I'd like to point out that the map is pretty cool as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and go forward. Try and get rid of some more of this just because I like to get rid of it all. Oh, so clear. Much obliged, little buddy. Well, there's the next level, which we can also jump to if we want to. Ah, uh, but let's quickly get this over here if I can. It shows the cost of each, um, fuzzball above it, so you can see how much you need to pay and how much you have at the top right of the screen above, little buddy. But over here, there is this little thing over here. Look at that, rascal go! I think there may be something worth checking nearby. Little buddy on the overworld will actually go towards something that is, like, hidden and try to get your attention. Whenever that happens, go over to it and shoot. You unlocked a- you got a decoration. You can pick it at the lobby terminal and use it to decorate your lo lo locker. Looks like you're- uh, you found a, a loot anchor. I didn't see the rest of that text. Anyway, level two. Sink into the ink and swim. These levels are fairly simple uh, to try and kind of- it's kind of like an extended tutorial. For the story mode. So let's go. Let's just go through everything. We're probably going to just ignore the enemies, but we're going to get as many of the fish eggs as we can as well at the same time. Now's the time to enter squid mode. Remember, we can jump with B. I did a bad job with that. You can also collect fish eggs with a uh, gun, so let's do that. Jump over that. There's so many things to get. We can also collect things with our little buddy. Which means that we can throw our little buddy at the dash tracks and he can do it for us. Which is pretty cool. But anyway, let's grab all this. And go. And I might be actually able to take you out if I throw you it like that. Don't try to take out the enemies. It takes way too much time. There are no collectibles to collect inside of the main levels. So, if you've if you're just trying to go through them, you want to go through them fast because there is you actually timed to see how well you can play the levels. But anyway, let's go over here. Is there more fish eggs? Yes, there is. Very nice. Love that. We want to get as much as possible. Although it's not really going to matter in the end, so... We're going to get plenty of them, so... Let me take you out. Let's hit this. Grab all the fish eggs, and let's go. Mwah. I absolutely love this story mode from what I played, although I haven't actually played all of it. I decided to come through and play this blind from a certain point. Nicely done, Agent 3. But did those Octarians look different? They used to be a little more smooth, if memory serves. 
Hey, I ain't the one to judge. Deadly tentacle creature, but it's cover. More power to him. Uh, but not really. Anyway, as long as you're sporting that hero suit, you can stand up to any Octarian, bearded or not. Did you even read the label? Here, I'll do it for you. You're wearing the latest in apocalyptic survival fashion. Avoid enemies and navigate the splatlands. In style with your own high-end sensor. Drying, cl uh, dry clean only. You gotta learn everything about your gear. That's another battle-tested rule of the battlefield. There we go. Let's continue. Let's get rid of that. I love the way it all clears out like this. It's so satisfying. Careful here. It's a long way down and one false step could send you over the edge. Gotta jump down here. Make sure it's a safe place to land. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Because little buddy can find secrets. Which I think there might be some around here, but I'm probably good for the moment. There's one down here, that's what I'm thinking of. Let's go ahead and collect that. Got a pack of cards for the card game. Another loot anchor there. Got a good eye. Those things can be hidden anywhere. A small fry might be a goofball, but I'd follow his nose if I were you. Anyway, let's go down here. We can see that we have to go through this area very carefully to not get hit by stuff. But we also need more fish eggs before we can continue, so we actually have to come back to this. So let's head up this way. And go to the next level. I should actually be jumping to the next level. Makes more sense than traveling back manually. Box is locked. Keys, please. So we've got a lot of boxes. But also, we have locked boxes now. You gotta find a key to we'll find out what's inside the vault. There it is! Grab that key and get to the vault. Let's open that up, and let's shoot that, and let's go. You activated an ink ray, hop in, in, in with squid form. Now don't panic if you let go of ZR, ZL, you'll fall to your doom, so hold on tight. You can kind of pop out of the rail a little bit though, but not much. And if you shoot, you'll kind of hop back in if you go back into squid form fast enough, so kind of works. But anyway, here's another lockbox. Another vault. We need to find another key, so let's go do that. See the great... Uh, another zapfish over there. So we have to go get that. But first, let's go over here. Octocopter. Let's get rid of that. And you as well. So let's just try and find a key somewhere. Probably there. Yep. Now we can activate this. Remember, you can slip under through grates by pressing ZL to get into swim form. We need to get up there, but we can't do that right now. But we can go to the other side if we throw little buddy across to activate this. There we go. Little buddy's small fry is time to shine. Let's activate this and go up. And let's hit that target up there. There we go. So now that's activated, but we can't go into it. So let's go back this way. Because over here, we can use both rails now to go up here and beyond. Let's go over here, grab this key. We actually have two keys right now. So let's activate that and that, and let's go. It feels so good playing the story mode. It feels so good for some reason. I don't know why. Also, hang on. Just need a squid bag here for a second. No reason. Keep it up, Agent 3. You're making me proud. Now, I don't want to ruffle your tentacles any further than they've already been ru uh, 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 ruffled, but those fuzzy Octarians are freaking me out. I think we ought to consider call calling it calling some backup. Let me just fire up the old communicator. Check, ha check. This is Cuttlefish. Over. Do you copy? Agent 2 here. Over. Wait, Gramps, is that you? Where are you? Agent 1, this is Agent 2. Gramps w has wandered off again. Over. Well, what are we waiting for, Agent 2? Let's go collect him. Roger that. Stay fresh. Did they just hang up on me? Agents these days, am I right? 
So impatient. Gur cattle I found you. Dagnabbit, this old thing is busted. Oh well. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's head down. Be very careful. Let's activate this. I don't think there's any more secrets to find. So we should, I think we should be good for now. Let's just hit that. And if we go down here, we can find that we're actually at a dead end. No thing to activate at all. Even if we had enough fish eggs, which we do. <laughs> kind of. But anyway, let's go to the next level because that's all we can do. What are they? Can we stop them? Okay, let's grab all this. Oh, hello. This place is marked or packed with Octarians. Take them out. So we actually have to fight Octarians with this. Which we can do quite well. We also have stuff raising out of the ground. As we go through this, so... It doesn't really change anything. We just need to make sure we know what's happening around us. To you. Okay, nice. It's up, Agent 3. Use your splashdown. Okay, let's press the right stick. And there we go. Do some major damage. Let's get on top of this platform before it goes up as well. Nice thinking. Looks like you're activating some kind of pillar. There's also a thing on the side that helps you get up if you need to. Okay, this area is going to be packed with them. Looks free and clear up ahead. That sets up my alarm bells. Yes, it does. Just splash down. It's ready to use. How I knew it. There's more of them. That won't be the last of them. Just, yeah. Just stay, keep, keep an eye out. And be careful not to get splashed too much with their ink. And stand in the ink, because that's also not helpful. Is it you? Distract you with that. Little buddy is very helpful, but buddy can also get uh, defeated and needs to respawn. Whole mess of pillars moving. So let's go up. Let's see if we can take these out. Okay, very nice. And let's take you out. Just like that. Please, small fry. Small fry. There we go. Took him a while. Anyway, moi. We also get some extra fish eggs for having armor at the end and not losing it along the way. You're on a roll. Nicely done, Agent 3. That ought to be the last kettle, but do you see anything else that looks fishy around here? Well, I see this over here now, which we can actually activate, so let's throw out that, and it only takes the thousands. That's pretty good. And that's the last of the group. Incoming! Something's headed this way! Fast! Gahaha! I finally found you, Cuttlefish! Mark Terran troops have gone missing. And I know you're behind it! There he blows! It's DJ Octavio! Up to your tricks, eh? Give the great Zapfish back! Agent 3, this dirty DJ is the headliner of the entire Octarian army. Take him out. Quit spewing nonsense and listen up! I'm about to drop my latest hit! Right on your smug little face. Octobot King, L3.GS. So we have to fight DJ Octavio. Let's go. Let's paint some of this ground so we have some area to go. Incoming punch. Shoot it back towards him. This area is such a cool area to fight him in as well. This is so cool. I love this. Got our splashdown ready. Just need to keep repelling his fists back at him. I love the way this whole thing feels in the wasteland. Also, DJ Octavio looks a little bit dried out, which is cool. Using a drill punch. Quick dodge. Can't shoot it back straight away, so just wait for it to land and then shoot it back. Just like that. 
So now you need to watch what action his fist is doing. That's just a regular one. Very nice. He fell in the middle. Let's get him. Think my beats suck, eh? Then you'll love this. He's got a vacuum to pull in all of ink, which means we need to be careful. We also need to throw at little buddy, because when he's pulling in stuff, we can't actually do anything. But we need to throw a little buddy into the vacuum so he can get blocked. Just like that. There we go. Ah, I can't vacuum. It's fine by me. Let's just get rid of that. Little buddy will actually stay there for the entirety of this part of the fight, so that's pretty good. Although we'll need to throw him back in a few times. Okay, very nice. So my friend got launched back out. Okay. Keep your fishy junk on my mech. Changing position again. This is such a cool fight. I love DJ Octavio. Okay, let's go. Get in there quick, quick, just dodge, just dodge. Can't shoot that back in time, I think. Maybe? Nope, not quite. Have to miss the first one. But that is okay. Just launch that one back. Okay. Okay, drill. Just gotta do that. Launch it back quickly. And let's hit Octavio again. Grr, now you've made me mad! Now his fists are now full palm hands that we need to shoot back at. Otherwise he'll create a ripple effect around us which we need to jump over. Otherwise we'll get hit by the ripple of power. Because he has now he's got shockwaves now. Quick throw little buddy. Can't do that in time, unfortunately. It's fine. Just gotta cover the ground quickly. Okay. Shoot that one back. Welcome back, small fry. Don't get comfy. We're gonna launch you again. True. Just need to wait for him to move again. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Okay, little buddy. Just, I'm, wait, I'm ready for it. There we go. Back up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. It's a shame, but I wanted to hit him more. It's fine. Okay. Another fist. Very nice. And let's hit him. Octavia's out. Finish him off. Every time, so sad. Gah, no fair, your gear is way too strong. You put a week on a week show, Octavio. Your set list is getting old, or maybe it's just you. Seriously, that was way- that was too easy. It's like you weren't even using the great Zapfish's power. Mute it, fool. I didn't steal the Zapfish this time. Boy, You didn't? But if it wasn't you then, who was it? Whoa, 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 what? God, the fuzzy ooze! Agent 3, help me! Nintendo Presents Splatoon 3 
Now, even though I said we had the best gear, and didn't have to worry about upgrades, we now have the worst gear. Hello? Hey! Agent 3, over here! Phew, I'm so, so glad you're alright. You are Agent 3, right? Gramps fully enlisted you and your small fry. Yeah, I knew it. I see the look in your eyes that he's always looking for. Well, it's nice to meet you. I guess we should introduce ourselves. I'm Agent 1 of the new Squid B Beak Splatoon. Hey, I'm Agent 2. Come on, Agent 2, get pumped. Anyway, one last member to introduce. This is our captain. We're the new, new Squid Beak Splatoon. <laughs> Amazing. Ahem. Anyway, it looks like you and Gramps got separated in that fall. This place is huge, it, and it's filled with that horrible fuzzy ooze stuff. And now we have to find Gramps before he, like, tastes it or something. Hey, or, or <laughs> you make it sound like it's not gonna be fun. But seriously, please help us look for Gramps. So, uh... Oh, they're in. Probably just too excited about looking for someone else's else's grandpa to speak. So Gramps reeled in a new Agent 3. Glad to have you. It's never been here but we've never been here before either, but here's a, the tour anyway. We think this place is called Alteria. Who knew it was beneath the crater this whole time? We count six different islands so far. What should we call them? Sites or something? Uh, are you even gonna mention the humongous rocket over there? Look at it. Way to steal my thunder. Anyway, we put a tracking device on Gramps, as one does. But now we're getting a strong signal from three different areas. Agent 3, your mission is to check all three of those places out. We upgraded your map a little bit. Tell us how much you love it. Now it tracks the places you've already visited, and lights up when you go near something in interesting. Like when I'm nearby, or buried treasure I guess. We're here to look for Gramps, not treasure, and I hardly think Agent 3 needs a Cali Tracker. Anyway. Wait, Agent 3 is totally out of power eggs. Did you lose them all in the fall? Yikes, your hero suit is all messed up too. Oh, don't be dramatic. I mean, sure, Agent 3 will have to collect power eggs and upgrade from scratch. Hmm, I guess an explanation would help. First, they'll need Sardinium to unlock access to different types of upgrades. And then they can spend upgrade points to do the actual upgrading. There's got to be some Sardinium down here in the... in Altern... Ah! <sighs> in Alterna, right? If anyone can find it, it's Agent 3. Wait, did you tell Agent 3 how to actually get upgrade points? No, I'm on it. Agent 3, just ink lots of stuff and find items. I guess it isn't rocket science, which is a shame, because it seems like we need some rocket science. Never mind that for now. I'm getting a strong Gramps-like signal from the next site over. Go check it out. So yes, now if we go to our menu, we actually have to have spend a Sardinium to unlock the areas that are surrounded by chains, which they will cost different amounts of Sardinium, I'm pretty sure, the further in we get. And then we can spend upgrade points after that on each one. You can see how much each one costs as well. Which we get by just painting anything, anywhere. It doesn't matter how much you paint it, like in, like if it gets cleaned off and repainted it still counts. But it does take a while and we can't redo really anything until we have Sardinium anyway. It even counts as well as when we're inside of a level. Which, if we go back to the map, I'm pretty sure that we can't actually go back to the crater anymore, quite possibly. This is now the hub of the world. And if we want to go back to uh, the surface, we can actually take this over here, back to Splatsville. Which I guess we could just do from the menu anyway by pressing plus. But anyway, this is where the game completely changes. And becomes a lot cooler, I'd say. I love this place. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.